Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta attack this. This is gonna be awesome. We're gonna try to shoot this, and like she's just gonna jump, jump around all the time. Jump, jump. So I guess are we doing this now? I was there at the first can show in Cologne. Losing my edge. <laughs> um, so in the last podcast that that I did personally, it was just myself. You did podcast. I, <laughs> you are so gay. I did, <laughs> I did a video. There's so, a video on YouTube, and it's just me sitting in front of a camera, and I was talking about a Halloween party that I was gonna go to, and. Why are you still... Oh, you're not laughing. I don't know. Wait. I thought you were still laughing at me. Anyways. <laughs> so, so, my last podcast, I was crying, and I lit I was a candle. Weeping, it's weeping a lot. I lit a candle and let it melt over a couple pictures. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I remember that. Um, anyways. So. So, no. So, the whole thing was... Ruined. the The whole thing was I was going to a Halloween party, which I never ended up going to because I got lost. Because, okay, here's the thing. My sister has my GPS unit, and she's borrowing it because she's in Tennessee right now. They introduced me. Oh, this is James. That's, he doesn't have a video. <laughs> Actually, he does. He's got a lot of videos. Uh, most of them I took down. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I want to I wanna be taken seriously in the real world. <laughs> okay. So I took down the Mormonism with James. Oh, that was a good one, though. That had a lot of hits. Um, and uh, Modalism, the video with Ricky. Oh, okay. Yeah. Took that down. Someone flagged the, uh, the other video is inappropriate. Really? The Ricky, the Ricky rant. What they... Anyways, uh, um, so James is being taken more seriously now. Yeah. Uh, whatever that means. Um, but anyway, so I, I took... My sister took my GPS unit, and so I just wrote down directions, and I'd never been to this place before, and I didn't write down very good directions, and I ended up getting lost an hour north of where I was supposed to be. <laughs> where are you trying to go? Lebanon. <laughs> I was it's just like straight north. Like you no, take I know. 72, like straight yeah, north. No, that's what I did. And just kept driving <laughs> and north. And you missed it? Yeah. No, I drove right By through. By an hour? Yeah. <laughs> um, so that was Sunday. That's our show. That was Thank Sunday. You. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Good night. No. Thanks for coming in. No, that was Sunday. Um, you, on the other hand, actually had an exciting weekend. Um, I went down to Washington, D.C. Um got to see the rally to restore sanity and or fear. So it was, um, what was accomplished? Was there fear or sanity? Which one took, uh, took place? John Stewart had um, a really heartfelt speech at the very end. I did see that. It kind of summed up everything that he was trying to accomplish. Like, right. basically saying, like, you know, we were here to have fun, but at the same time, let's, let's tone it down for America. Which is what he said at the very beginning when he introduced his rally. It's toned down for America. For America. And that was kind of like the conclusion. Like, let's let's just be a little bit more reasonable. Yeah. We live in hard times, not end times. That was one of my favorite quotes. I did, I saw, I did like that, that last, I, that's pretty much all I saw of the rally. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, Yusuf, the artist formerly known as Cat Stevens, yeah. came out on stage at one point uh, to sing Peace Train. I didn't think he was allowed um, back in America. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that, but um, he comes out, and starts singing "Peace Train," and Stephen Colbert stops him and is like, "Listen, um, I'm not all about this peace train. I'm about something a little bit more more insane. Is guy's rather you know like a crazy train." So Ozzy Osbourne comes out and starts singing "Crazy Train." So John Stewart stops him in the middle of his song. And it's like, no, 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 we need the peace train, we need the peace train. And so he gets Yusuf to start singing again. And then Stephen Colbert interrupts him again and starts getting Ozzy. And then they both start singing their, same, their songs at the exact same time, which is pretty hilarious. And then finally they agreed that they needed a love train. And so the four guys dressed in all kinds of crazy regalia came out to sing Love Dream. I don't actually know who it was. But it was pretty cool. It was it was funny, because like, where else are you going to see Ozzy Osbourne and the artist formerly known as Yusuf on stage together? This is true. So, that was pretty cool. It was crowded, though. It was 
it was disgustingly crazy crowded. So let's move on to talking about video games. I know what I'm playing. I have a question mark here as to what you're playing because I don't know what you're playing. So is there any game? What are like what game are you playing right now that is? Uh, The Sims Two. Uh. <laughs> is that the, the PC the, uh, version or is the, yeah, the, uh... with the uh, University Expansion Pack? Okay. So that's pretty much all I've been playing. That's got to be taking up a lot of your time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm playing Fable Three. I bought it. Um, Did you? It's it's pretty much incredible. Did you buy it from my store? No. <laughs> I bought it from uh, from Best Buy. Oh, okay. So product placement. <laughs> So that's that's that. Um, yeah, I probably played about fifteen hours in the past week, maybe. Okay. So pretty much all my free time when I'm not working. Is that fifteen hours? Is that like far in the game, or like how far are you in the game? Uh, I I think I'm I'm over halfway at least. I know that. Okay. But I'm taking my time. Because I didn't know how long of a game it was. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm pretty decently far, but I don't know what else. So. Cool. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft. I don't even know what that is. Which, I'll put video in as I'm talking about it, but it's pretty much like... This is how I describe it. It's like you're a Lego person. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. It gets, Sounds promising. No, it gets better, I swear. It's like you're a Lego person... But you're all, it's set in like a world where everything looks like you're, like Legend of Zelda, like 8-bit. Like you're, it's a first person, like you're running around as Link. And when you build a sword, you can see it like in your first person display there that you're like carrying a sword around. There's a free beta version that um, allows you to... Oh, well, that looks good. That, it, that the graphics good. aren't like crazy good, but like one dude made it. Like one dude made this entire game. Um... There's oh, a free geez. there's a free beta version of the game, and it basically allows you to have invinci like you're invincible. There's no day and night cycle, um, and you What's can that kind of at you? build. It was a pig. Oh. Um, you can build like unlimited amounts of stuff. Uh, you know, like, like resource like you have like unlimited resources. Pull in his house. So like wood, he's making like he made a house and stuff. Anyways, if you play the full version of the game um, that I have. It's in alpha build right now, so it's not even, like, the full, complete version of the game. It's, it hasn't even been, like, officially released. Um, but it has a day-night cycle. You have to, like, build things. You have to, like, resource and get supplies. Um, and then as, like, it turns nighttime, your, um, like, evil things come out, like skeletons and um, zombies. And, like, these things are called creepers. They, like, run at you. Um... But uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It's very addictive and very like involved. It sounds like really stupid, but like yeah, it's a lot of fun. And this is the video where the dude sets his house on fire because he thinks it'd be cool to put a house, a fire in his house and a fireplace in his house, and he ends up just burning his house down. And it really sucks because he probably put a lot of time into it. <laughs> <laughs> so he can't control the fire. No. <laughs> I think he could have just exited the game, and you know what I'm saying? Like, he could have yeah. just... Can we put this video up on the thing yeah. so that way people can see? Yeah, I'm going to put it up, and then I'll, I'll, I'll edit it in so people can see what I'm talking about. But, like, it's a crazy addictive game, and... Damn. <laughs> he's a, like, he, he just built himself a fire department. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he basically just burns his house down. It kind of sucks, because it takes a long time. You You don't just get, like wood like you have to cut down trees and you have to like and like to do to make glass you have to like get sand and, and then you have, you have to, to find it. coal or ore and then you have to like build a stove like it's really involved and it takes a lot of time but anyways it's a lot of fun that's pretty much all i've been playing i've been playing i just kind of got back into little big planet again um just because it's a fun game to play um and that's pretty much that's pretty much all I've been playing. It's just Minecraft. Um, I'm excited about Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood. I don't care about the... Uh, the multiplayer? Yeah, the multiplayer. Same goes. But I like the... 
fact that I can play another game and don't have to wait two years for it. This is true. So, I just want them to... Hopefully it doesn't suck. I wish that they would just finish the story. Yeah. So you could play, like, the... Like, the modern-day version of it. <laughs> yeah. Where he's running around wherever he's running around. Now, is it supposed to take place in the future future, or just, like, the not-too-distant future? I think the not-too-distant future. Okay. Because I didn't know, like... Are you going to run around and it's going to be, like, friggin' Tron outside? Or <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What if that's all it is? <laughs> they, they, build, they release the game and it's really It's a Tron. prequel to Tron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be real funny. Yeah. Um, the last thing is, what are we listening to? And you're going to laugh when I say this one, because it's funny. But the new um, Taylor Swift CD, Speak Now, is really good. <laughs> um, it's a good CD, whatever. It's, I enjoy... I'm on Team Kanye. I, I enjoy her singing voice skills. and I feel like she's all. probably a horrible person in real life. Um, if you, she just doesn't seem like a very nice person to me. And... It's, I think she dated John Mayer. Is that what the she one did. talks about? So, yes. Yes. you know, it's kind of gross. <laughs> Whatever. Everyone's got their own thing. Um, also, I've been listening to the, the May EP, their last EP, Evening. Um, I got that. That's really good. It's probably like morning, afternoon, and evening are probably like the, the best. No. The Everglow is always going to be the best May CD, but morning, afternoon, and evening are really, really good. They're right up there. So, um, And also, I've been listening to a lot of Eyes on Me, which is a really good band. So I had to throw that in there because it's my old roommate's band. So, Is there anything that you are listening to um, that I don't know about? The uh, Jim Rome program um, from 12 to noon on... Uh, on Fox Sports Radio. Um, I didn't know that he had released a CD. Yeah, he has a radio program. Uh, I also have been listening to Dan Patrick Show from 9 to noon on uh, Sports Talk Radio. Um, those are probably two of my favorite people. Okay. So uh, I kind of gave up on, on music recently. Um, the last album that I think I listened to was... Um, Eminem's Recovery, which I liked. Is that the uh, one that the, the song is in the Call of Duty commercial? The I'm Not Afraid song, or something to that effect? I don't know. They used that for Hockey um, last year. But, yeah, the um, the next album I will buy is probably going to be Kanye West CD. So, I like the song they did, The VMAs. Because that, um, that was a really good one. Um... And the one that he did on SNL. He did them both. Runaway with Pusher T, or Pusha T, whatever you call him. I don't know. I've never heard of him before. Okay. But yeah, I think I'll buy that album because I really like Kanye West. Cool. Um, as far as other music, I haven't been listening to anything indie or different or out of the ordinary lately. Cool. So... I think that's about it as far as music I'm listening to. Awesome. Well, I think that's going to wrap up the show for today. Um, we're going to try to shoot again next week. So if you haven't already subscribed, do so. And, you know, each week we're going to try to do something different. Um, it won't always just be us sitting on the couch. We might do something outside or do something crazy. Who knows? So that's pretty much going to do it for now. Um, rate us, thumbs up or thumbs down. Subscribe. Leave comments. Let us know what you think. Um, you can always follow me on Twitter, Higgins82. I don't always use my Twitter account. Um, I use it very rarely, so so there's that. I have a Twitter account, too, but I guess Higgins doesn't care. I don't know what yours is. I don't really remember what the handle is. I think it's James Mac Jr. James Mac Jr. Check, check so. it out. I'll put links in the bottom. Down, down here. Down below. Down there. Yeah. So, all right. Well, thanks for stopping by and watching. All right. Later. <laughs>